What's up guys? Orders going on today. I am off to a meeting. Just about right on time, maybe a minute or two behind. And I've got what is known as a growler. This is a 64 ounce glass growler. And I, I like to fill it with kombucha because you know your boy is a hippy dippy. And uh, the meeting that I'm going to is right near a hippy dippy store. And uh, they have kombucha on tap. So I get to fill my growler. Get that coffee in the cup holder. I don't know why I put it in from the back sometimes, but I do. All right, let's see what time we're working with. 9.42, meeting is at 10. I should be good. Uh, new album from Russ came out. That's what I'm popping right now. Right there. And it's good. It's very good. Also, new Logic album dropped this week. I uh, haven't listened to that yet, but it's probably good. Ten oh two, a little bit late. Whatever. So this meeting is a fun one. It's about finances. That's right, Trigger Devil finances. So. We're gonna be talking numbers, projections, all that sort of stuff, all the businessy things that go into making a startup work. Running a startup is so much about planning, you guys don't even understand. If you have a good plan, and if you are continuously adjusting your plan and making sure that you're responsible, you can do really, really well, and you can kind of make magic happen, but if you're not responsible and you don't have good resources, you don't have people telling you, you know, when you're wrong about stuff or when you need to rethink things, which is exactly what we're doing here, is rethinking some things. By the time you realize you've made a mistake, it's gonna be way too late. So that's what we're avoiding today. Cheers to focusing the camera. Ugh. Yeah, we'll just be up close. Cheers to finances. Meeting is commencing. Goodbye. Meeting over success. So we talked about some of the new opportunities that we have. We have a lot of opportunities. Basically, the problem is, is that we've got too many opportunities and we can't capitalize on them all. So, uh, meaning, meaning we don't have enough money to take advantage of every opportunity that's available to us right now. And that's a good thing, you know what I mean? Having too much opportunity is great. It's like a good problem to have. But then again, we have to like strategically decide, okay, well, what do we do and how do we do it? So that this makes sense, we make the most of what we have and uh, the time that we have. So that was the plan and we we kind of smashed it. It was a solid meeting. I, I always walk out of these meetings with like so much more confidence in our choices. You know, it's just nice to have someone say, yeah, you were thinking the right thing. And now I just get to go enjoy Dover, New Hampshire a little bit before I head back to the office and see my friend Will. There's a lot of like restaurants in this area and all the mill buildings, they all have restaurants. And I just came outside and it smelled just like delicious food. It made me so hungry. I might need to go find something to eat too. What well, up guys, I, as promised, I filled my 16 ounce growler with kombucha, that, this thing is heavy now. Fold, filled with kind of a vinegary tasting tea. I know you guys think it's weird. I hope you do. And I got some lentils that I'm gonna cook up with some Thai spices, mix, make that nice and spicy and delicious. But I also have a little bottle for kombucha, so I figured I'd show you guys how I fill this thing and what kombucha on tap looks like. So let's go fill this. Kind of tough to do this with one hand. Have you ever seen carbonated tea before? You guys probably already know what this stuff is. 
It's probably not new. Well, wow. Will is not here. I'm sure Will left for lunch. Okay, while we are on the topic of planning, financial planning of a business, I figured I'd take a little bit of a moment, since Will's not here, to just sit and talk with you guys about planning your businesses, because I know a lot of you guys want to plan businesses. Let's talk about what the actual planning entails. How to plan your business. Not writing a business plan, that's a different thing. That maybe that will be a different video. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to how to write a business plan video. I will I will do that. I've I've written business plans many of them in fact. So, how to plan your business. What this breaks down to in its simplest form. Let's just say we're starting a pizza business. What does it cost to make a pizza? What are all, all the ingredients, the dough, the sauce, even the labor that it takes to assemble the pizza and bake it, what does that cost? That's called your cost of goods sold, COGS, as many people refer to it. In, I guess in the beginning it seems like getting all of that information is uh, kind of tedious, but after you do it a few times, it is the easiest of all the things that you have to do. <laughs> Cogs is very straightforward, very simple, and it is not difficult. And if you think that's difficult, try it a few times, you'll probably realize how easy it is. But if you think of that's difficult, business probably is not for you, to be perfectly honest. So then you've got your cogs. After you have your cogs, you want to figure out what you can sell that for. These are like, what's your price gonna be? So you can use uh, other companies, you can use uh, you know, go to the different pizza shops, see what they sell their pizzas for, get a rough estimate as your of your price. The difference between those two are going to be something called your gross margin. How much, you know, every time you sell a pizza, how much money do you gross? So it's not necessarily your end all be all profits, but it gives you a good idea of what your margin's gonna be. Then you have to plan for all the operational stuff. Like this office, for example, you know, this space, I have to pay for the electricity, I have to pay for insurance, I have to pay for Will, who is not here. But for some reason, I still have to pay for him. Just kidding, Will, love you. <laughs> uh, I gotta pay, you gotta pay your employees, you gotta pay all sorts of stuff going in, you know, like especially if you're running a pizza shop, you gotta pay for that oven. You gotta pay for the electricity to run the oven, maybe someone to operate it, all that stuff. Well, actually, we already counted the person operating it and the cost of goods. That actually goes into making the pizza itself. But all those operational costs are not, they're separate from the cost of goods. That's just running the business uh, itself. So you wanna take your gross margin and you subtract out the operational costs once you have all of those. And yes, that does take a lot of time, a lot of effort, and sometimes you gotta just estimate what some of these numbers are gonna be. You're not always gonna have all the numbers from jump. So you have to estimate those. And then you also have to put in kind of like the, what your assets, like what do you have to, or your assets and liabilities, like what do you have to purchase? What are the big ticket items that you have to purchase? Like purchasing the oven, financing the oven, in our pizza shop example, maybe a delivery car, like the big ticket items. You need to know, add all that up, to find out what your initial uh, capital needs to be. So once you've got a lot of those numbers, you can really start to figure out how to plan the business to be successful. Like if you know, operate, you know you're gonna operate your business and after six months, you can start to make a profit because you've, you're paying your operational costs, you're paying for the cost of goods and you're still clearing some money, which is covering, uh, let's just say, the oven and the payments on the oven and the delivery car, then you know after six months you're gonna start to become profitable. You, 
chart it out on an Excel spreadsheet or on a planning tool of your choice. But that is how, at the most basic level, most basic level, that's how you plan a business. There is so much more to it. I am literally just scratching the surface, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of education on it. Uh, this is the th type of thing that runs through my mind daily. Uh, and like I said, this is basic, basic stuff. But it is, uh, it's, it's how you need to think, you know, as, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner myself, and hopefully uh, if you're interested, then hopefully you will become one as well. You have to think about every aspect. So when I look at Trigger Devils, I think about how much does this cost? How much does, does the packaging cost? And how much does the shipping cost? And how many of these do we have to sell before we really start to make money and make this a viable business? Which it isn't yet viable, it's going to be though. That's the whole point, right? Like, if I didn't think it was gonna be viable and profitable, I would literally hang it up right now and go do something else. I'm very certain it will be, but we're just not there yet. We, we haven't scaled up. We've got a, still a lot of costs. A lot of those big ticket items we still have to pay for. We still have to go out and purchase. So long ways to go. And that's why there's so much planning involved. That's why I have meetings dedicated just to financial planning. In any event, it went really well. And uh, I hope that I can shed a little bit more of that education on you guys. If you guys enjoyed that, hit the like button, of course. And that's really it until Will gets back. I'm gonna go have some lunch as well because I know that that's what he's doing. He's eating food and I'm hungry too.